Hi, I'm Chris from Cinti Studios, and today I'll be showing you how to get our assets from the Cinti Store into your Unity project. Here we have the downloads for the Elven Realm Pack. So to get this into our Unity project, we want to download the Unity package file. But first, we'll take note of the file name here. So in this case, it's Unity 2020.3 version 1.02. So the first part there is the version of Unity used when releasing the pack. So 2020.3, that means it'll be compatible with 2020.3 and anything newer. Version 1.02 is the version number of the pack. And if we look at the Cinti store, under the changelog, each listing will have a changelog that matches the version number. So we'll head back to the store and we'll download the package. So with that downloaded, we'll open the Unity Hub and we'll click New Project. And we'll select the engine version. In my case, I'll go 2020.3.4. And we'll give our project a name and create project. So we've got our Unity package downloaded and our project is now open. So we'll make sure we go to the Project tab. Then in our Downloads folder, we'll see our Unity package. So we can double click this and open in the Unity editor. And from here, we can import this package into our project by pressing the Import button. Another option for importing this into your project, as long as you have the project window open, simply drag it in to your Unity project. Then we'll click Import. And being the Elven Realm pack, so in the Polygon Elven Realm folder in Scenes, you'll find the demo scene. A few things to note, you can use this process to import multiple packs to the one project, or importing our packs into your existing project rather than creating a new one. This process is also the same when it comes to importing an update for the pack. After downloading the update from the Cinti store, you can then import this into your project. However, when doing so, be mindful that this will override any changes you've made to the prefabs or the demo scene, so always make sure you have a backup of your project before doing so. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos, or check out our community Discord. The link is in the description.